Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I will be discussing with you about the sum of probability and getting the mean, variance, and standard deviation. So as you can see here, I have a given table. I have the x and the p of x, this one, which have values. We will identify or determine the probability or the sum of the probability of the following. So to start with this, Computation, let's have number one. Uh, we need to get the sum of the probability of P of X is greater than 3. So, ang una natin dapat malaman, ano ba yung mga var values na tinutukoy na X greater than 3? So, values that are greater than 3 are 4 and 5 na meron tayo dito sa table. So, 4 and 5. So, we just have to get the probabilities of 4 and 5. So, we have 1, 8 and 1, 4. Lagay lang nandito, probabilities ng 4 and 5 ay 1, 8 and 1, 4. Ipa-plus lang natin dalawang yan kasi nga, sum of probabilities. So, i-add lang natin to sa calculator natin. This will become 1, 4 uh, I mean, 1, 8 plus 1 fourth. That is equal to 3 eighths. So, lagay lang dito, 3 eighths. The final answer would be 3 over 8. So, next, let's have number 2. Probability of x is less than or equal to 2. Kung babasin nyo, dito, less than or equal, may equal na sign. That means, yung 2 ay kasama sa i-add natin, yung probability ng 2. So, ibig sabihin, kun natin yung values nila ng 2, ng 1, ng 0. So, ng 2, ng 1, at ng 0. Bakit pa ba, ba? Kasi less than yan. Bakit sinama si 2? Kasi may equal sign. Dito sa 3, hindi natin sinama si 3 kasi wala namang equal na nakalagay. Ang kukunin na natin ay greater than 3 which are 4 and 5. So, dito, kung natin values ng 2, 1, and 0, probabilities. So, the values are 0 0.01, then add natin plus 0 0.2, then itong 0 0.20. So, i-add natin lahat, yung tatlong yan. This will become 0 0.01 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.29. That is equal to 1 half or 0 0.5. So, 1 half or 0 0.5. Then last, P of X is equal to 5. Pag may equal sign dyan, ibig sabihin, isa lang i-add na. Wala tayong i-add, I mean. Ang kukunin nyo lang is the probability of 5. So, the probability of 5 is 1 fourth. So, 1 fourth would be our final answer or 0 0.25. So, ganun lang kadali yung pagkuha na sum of probability. Okay? Now, let's proceed with computing the mean, the variance, and the standard deviation. So, dito naman, may formula lang tayong susundan. Same table ang gagamitin natin. X and P of X pa rin yan. X is our random variable. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. P of X are the following. Now, let's proceed with getting the mean. This is the symbol for the mean. The formula is this. Summation of x sub i times p of x equals x sub i, where i is equal to 1 to n. Okay? Mukha siyang magulo na pero ang gusto lang gawin dito sa min, ang ginagawa lang sa min is getting the sum of the product of x sub 1 hanggang x sub n multiplied to p of x sub 1 hanggang p of x sub n. So, ang gagawin natin muna ay kun natin yung x sub 1. Ang x sub 1 natin ay itong 0. x sub 2 to hanggang makarating kay x sub 5. Then ito, yung 0 0.01, siya yung magiging p of x sub 1 natin. p of x sub 2 hanggang makarating kay p of x sub 5. So, imumultiply lang natin si x sub 1 kay, x sub, kay p of x sub 1. So, dito, ang pinaka-formula lang ay multiplying itong magkatapat. Magkakatapat. Then, pag nakuha natin yung mga products nila, ipag-aad lang natin. So, gawin natin, 
Una, zero. Siya si x sub 1. Multiplied kay p of x sub 1, which is 0.01. Siya si p of x sub 1. Then, ipa-plus natin yung kasunod naman. Ito. Si p. I mean, si x sub 2 naman, which is 1. Multiply to p of x sub 2. That is 0 0.2. Plus, yung pangatlong column, times 2, multiply to 0 0.29. Plus 3. Katapat ni 3 na tayo. Okay, that is 1, 8. Plus 4, multiply to 1, 8 again. Then 5, plus 5, times 1, 4 naman yung katapat niya. Then, kunin lang natin yung mga sum. So, 0, 0 times 0 0.01. Pagka minultiply natin yan, that is 0. So, 0 na yung una. Plus, 1 times 0 0.2. Pag tinens natin to that is 0 0.2. Plus, 2 times 0 0.29. Gamit na tayong calculator. 2 times 0 0.29. That is 0 0.58. 0 0.58. Then ito, 3 times 1, 8 tayo. 3 times 1, 8. 1, 8. That is, that is equal to 0 0.375. Then, ito tayo, 4 times 1, 8. 4 times 1, 8. Sorry. 4 times 1, 8. That is equal to 1 half. Or 0 0.5. Plus 0 0.5. Then lastly, 5 times 1, 4. 5 times 1, 4, or 0 0.25. 1, 4. That is equal to 1.25. So, regalan natin 1 point. Wait, hindi pa dahil. 1 point. Then, after nyo makuha lahat ng products, ay i-add nyo lang lahat. So, add na natin 0 plus 0 0.2. Plus 0 0.58 Plus 0 0.375 Plus 0 0.5 Plus 1.25 Is equal to 2.91 2.905 yun pero ang final answer natin I-round off na lang natin into 2 decimal places So, so 2.91 Yan yung magiging value ng min natin. Now, let's proceed with getting the variance. This is the formula. Okay? That is equal to summation. So, ganito lang din yan gagawin. Pero, magalagay lang tayo dito ng uh, summation of x sub i minus the mean. So, kailangan natin yung mean. Pero, may raise to 2 pala yun dito. So, nakalimutan ko ilagay. That is raise to 2 times p of x equals to x sub i. So, ang gagawin nyo lang dito ay, sundin lang natin to. Uh, kunin ko lang formula na to para may guide tayo. This formula will be used to get the the variance. Okay? So, di tayo mag-compute ng variance para maluwag. So, to get the variance, ito ang gagawin lang natin. Pag tayo ng kulay para may iba. So, to get the variance, ang una yung gagawin ay, lagyan natin yung symbol natin, yung bilog na may raise to 2. So, ito, equals. Ito muna, x sub 1. Itong x sub i, tinutuko niya yung x sub 1 hanggang x sub 5 natin. So, lagyan natin, x sub 1 is 0. 
Then, yung minus lang natin, sabi minus yung mean. Ang mean natin, ay yung nakuha natin kanina, 2.91. So, inote lang dito, the mean is 2.91. Next is, lagay natin ng close parenthesis, raised to 2. Then, imumultiply natin yung P of X equals X sub I. Ang tinuto ko dyan, yung katapat niyang probability. Ito. So, after natin mag-minus na X natin minus yung mean, close natin, raise to 2, then imumultiply lang, lang natin 0.01. Okay, kasi yun yung katapat niyang probability. Then, plus tayo, punta tayo sa kasunod. Okay, ang kasunod niya ay 1. 1. Minus yung mean ulit, that is 2.91. Then raise to 2 ulit. Then imumultiply lang natin sa katapat niyang probability. So ang katapat niyang probability ay 0.2 ito. Okay, so nagay tayo dito. 0.2. Close. Then plus, sa pangatlo na tayo, that is 2. After ni 1 ay si 2. Then minus ulit. 2.91 raise to 2. Then yung katapat niyang probability ay 0.29. So gawin nyo lang yan hanggang mabot tayo sa dulo. Gawin natin. Uh, dito na natin ilagay yung kasunod. Plus si 3 na minus 2.91 Squared, huwag nung kakalimutan yung raised to 2. Times the probability na katapat niya, 1, 8. Plus, si 4 naman ngayon, 4 minus yung probability, 2.91 raised to 2. Times yung probability niya, ni 4 ay 1, 8 din. Plus, yung last tayo, si 5, minus yung mean, 2.91. 2.91 raised to 2 times the probability of 1 fourth. So, times 1 fourth. So, kumpitin natin to sa isa. Dito muna tayo mag-start. I-press lang natin to ng isahan sa calculator. Ito. Hanggang dyan. So, lagay nyo lang sa calculator class. Kumpit natin uh, parenthesis, copy nyo lang 0, minus 2.91. Yung pinakamahabang ano, solution. Raise to 2, then times tayo ng 0.01. That is, that is equal to, ang kukunin lang dito yung 2 decimal places. Enough na yun para makuha yung tamang sagot. 0.08. Next. Ang sunod ay, Ah, uh, ito na, yung 1 minus 2.91 raised to 2 times 0 0.2 tayo. Ilang ang naglaga, hintayin natin. So, open lang natin ulit yung calc. Okay na? So, lagay natin dito ay 1, sorry, parenthesis pa lang yun. 1 minus 2.91, close parenthesis, raised to 2, times 0 0.2, that is equal to 0 0.72. Pero since 9 yung katabi, magiging 0 0.73. 0 0.73. Pangatlo na tayo. Magiging 2... Parenthesis tayo. 2 minus 2.91 squared times 0 0.29 that is equal to 0 0.24. 0 0.24 next. Sa pangatlo na tayo. 3 Okay, parenthesis muna. 3 minus 2.91. Quantity squared times yung probability niya na 1 over 8. 1 over 8. 
equals So, lagay lang natin to 1 point, or pwede natin i-ano to i-convert ng standard form Pindito nyo lang yan, tapos 8 Yan, 0.00 2 decimal place nya ay 0.00 So, basically 0 lang yan So, para magka magka sense naman sya, lagay natin yung hanggang tatlo So, 0.001 ang ilagay natin 0.001 0.001 Then, dito na tayo Pang lima Kay 4 minus Parenthesis 4 minus 2.91 Then, raise to 2 Times 1.8 ulit 1, 8 0.14 Pero kasi since katabi niya ay 8 Magiging 0.15 tayo Then last na tayo Bago tayo mag-add ng lahat ng sagot 5 minus 2.91 Squared Wala tayo yung parentis so, Then times lang natin sa 1 fourth. Then we have an answer of 1.09. 1.09. Then after getting all the products, let's add all of them. Burayin natin yan. 0.08 plus 0.73 plus 0.24 plus 0.23 001 plus 0.15 plus 1.09 The sum of them is equal to 2.29 So, 2 decimal places pa rin tayo 2.29 is our variance Yan ang symbol yung may raise to 2 So, this will be our variance This will be our Uh, mean. Now, let's get the the last one. The standard deviation. For the standard deviation, madali lang itong klase, ito lang yung formula natin. You just have to get the square root of your variance. Your variance is equal to 2.29. So, get the square root of that. Tayo ng kulay. For the variance, variance ay square root. 2.29 29. Yan yung magiging variance natin. So, the value is equal to, lagay sa calculator, square root ng 2.29. That is equal to 1.51. 1.51. So, these are the three answers that we got. The mean is 2.91. The variance is 2.29. And the standard deviation is 1.51. Thank you.